Muhammad Qasim, an ordinary Muslim from Pakistan. He has dreamt more than 500 times of speaking to Allah, but behind a veil and unable to see him. And he has met Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam more than 300 times. He was commanded by Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam to share his dreams. Allah bestowed some unseen knowledge to Qasim for us as warnings and a mercy for the Muslims. And he has been sharing them on YouTube, forums, Facebook and other medias for over four years. His dreams contained some information regarding World War III, World Peace, Rise of Islam, Dajjal, Yajuj and Majuj, and Jesus, peace be upon him. Over the past four years, millions of people have seen his dreams. Thousands of people believe his dreams and multiple dreams came true. Many people have decided to come out and share their stories of why they believe his dreams. Here are the witness videos from those who believe Muhammad Qasim's dreams. Assalamualaikum. Perkenalkan nama saya Wahyu Ajis Mustafa. Saya berasal dari Indonesia. Saya mempunyai mimpi Muhammad Qasim karena mimpi Muhammad Qasim sejalan dengan akunan dan hadis. Dan mimpi Muhammad Qasim sendiri sangat istimewa karena dia bermimpi bertemu dengan Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yang tidak bisa ditiru oleh satu manapun. Walaupun Muhammad Qasim tidak pernah melihat wajah beliau secara langsung, karena wajah beliau ditutupi oleh cahaya. Dan dia juga bermimpi berbincang dengan Gusti Allah dari balik tabir. Walaupun banyak mimpi yang masih perlu untuk ditakwilkan oleh para ulama, tetapi banyak pula mimpi yang menjelaskan tentang dekatnya hari kiamat. Sekian, terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Nama saya Arafik Dan saya berasal dari Indonesia Saya percaya mimpi Muhammad Qasim Ibnu Abdul Karim Saya tahu mengenai mimpinya sejak umur saya 14 tahun Kemudian saya baru percaya 100% Di umur saya yang ke-16 tahun Masya Allah, Alhamdulillah Kenapa saya percaya mimpi Muhammad Qasim? Karena mimpi-mimpinya itu sejalan dengan ajaran Al-Quran dan As-Sunnah. Dan Alhamdulillah Allah memimpinku untuk mempercayai mimpi Muhammad Qasim. Jika engkau tidak percaya bahwa mimpi-mimpinya sejalan dengan Al-Quran dan Hadis, engkau bisa membuktikannya sendiri. Silakan research, silakan cari tahu. Jangan percaya saya, tapi silakan research. Dan kemudian, saya juga selalu berdoa kepada Allah. Bahwa, oh Allah, tolong bimbinglah saya ke Al-Mahdi. Permudahkanlah jalan saya ke Al-Mahdi. Dan Alhamdulillah, subhanallah, Allah memimpinku ke Qasim, ke Muhammad Qasim Ibnu Abdul Karim. Dan memimpinku untuk mempercayai mimpinya Dan memimpinku untuk membagikan mimpinya atau membantunya Masya Allah, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This brother is from Saudi Arabia He was born without the blessing many of us have The blessing of hearing I am speaking on behalf of a brother named Usama He says, my name is Usama And I was born in Pakistan I was born profoundly deaf. I believe that Muhammad Qasim is truthful. I used to be an atheist for many years, even though I was born in a Muslim family. I tried everything to have a connection with Allah, but it didn't work for me. I lost hope because I thought Allah had abandoned me. But I was wrong because Allah is the best planner. I faced a lot of hardship which was enough to make me suicidal. I finally found Qasim through YouTube, but I was not sure he was truthful. I then decided to offer the Usr prayer. While doing this, I felt a strong connection to Allah, one that I have never felt before. I came back to the fold of Islam, Alhamdulillah. After believing Muhammad Qasim, Allah gave me many dreams, and He answered my du'as quickly by His mercy. I saw Muhammad Qasim in many dreams. I will share one of them. 
I was helping to distribute food and water to the poor and needy. Then me and Qasim had lunch together. We ate an omelet together from the same plate. Jazakallahu khairan kathir wassalamu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum. I am Sharik Fazan and I believe in Muhammad Qasim because his dream is not cross the boundaries of Sharia and his some dreams already became true. السلام علیکم میرا نام عاطف ہے اور میرا تعلق پاکستان سے ہے مجھے یقین محمد قاسم کے خواب سچے ہیں اور یہ اللہ کی طرف سے ہیں بالکل ویسے ہی کچھ ہونے جا رہا ہے جیسا کہ اللہ نے قاسم کو خوابوں میں دکھایا ہے ارشاد نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم ہے قیامت کے قریب بہت کم خواب ہوں گے جو صحیح نہیں ہوں گے ایسا اس وجہ سے ہوگا کہ نبوت اور اس کے اثر اتنے دور ہوں گے کہ مومنوں کو خوابوں کے ذریعے سے رین میں دی جائے گی جو ان کے لئے کوئی اچھے قبر لائے گی یا ان کو صبر کرنے اور ایمان پر قائم رہنے میں مدد دے گی لہٰذا میں محمد راضم کے خواب گور سے سننے چاہیے اور ان پر یقین بھی کرنا چاہیے اور ان خوابوں کو پیلانے میں ہماری مدد کریں جزاک اللہ عمر خیر السلام علیکم